Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Hyundai i40 Estate. Always very popular when we get these in estate form. Um, I'm going to take you around and show you everything I can see. Um, the point of the video is to show any defects that I can spot. I tend to do anything sort of bigger than a stone chip. Um, take into account that it is a now eight year old black car. So there is going to be small marks here and there, but I'll bring anything to your attention that I would like to see if I was buying a car basically. Um, and the other part is to show you all the spec and everything, test out everything that's, make sure it's all working. Um, so, right, let's uh, get started then. Metallic black, I will find out the Hyundai name for the particular color, but it is, it is metallic black. You've got your LED daytime running lights there. Halogen headlights, I believe. If there's Xenon, I'll update the advert, but I think they're halogen. Um, front parking sensors. Alloy wheels, just looking for the size on those, 16 inch. A couple of little marks on these here and there. They're kind of done in a sort of shadowy grey sort of finish, so any marks are visible, but few and far between. Power folding mirrors with the indicators built in. All the gaps are good, so all the colour match is good. It's HPI clear. Privacy glass through the back there. A little tiny scuff just on there. I think a lot of that will polish out. It will. Some of it's coming off of my fingernail. The valitors must have missed that on the polish, but um, I shall do that afterwards. Rear wheel here, again, that's got a couple of little small marks. I think all the wheels have got tiny ones. Roof's all good. Silver roof rails. Shark fin aerial. High level brake light built into the spoiler just up there. Rear parking sensors. A couple of little marks along the edge of the bonnet there where stuff's been moved in and out of the boot I assume. Tow bar with single electrics. Now from my very limited knowledge I think that's the newer style pins. Massive boot. Didn't come into me with any form of parcel shelf or load cover though. So that is not present if it's meant to be there. Some of them are optional I know these days as with everything. Right full set of rubber mats these plastic dividers, I have no idea where they go, but I obviously didn't want to throw them away. Underneath there is your space saver spare wheel and all the tools. The only thing not there is the locking wheel nut because that is in the glove box. Attempt to put this back together with one hand. Under that section is a number plate for towing. Storage in the sides here, light here, and 12 volt point just like there. Oh, there's a light on the other side as well. Look. had a little bump there which looks to have been touched in before but if I just get around that thoroughly you should be able to see it from all angles. There's the wheel, not really many, can't we spot any marks on that, oh yes I can, just there. And that one has, that's the, the most marked wheel. I'll make an attempt to touch that in. That's definitely the worst effect here from curbing. Screen's all good, no prominent stone chips in the driver's view. You've got a little one over here on the passenger side. And there we are, that's just a little mark that I can rub off with my t shirt there, so ignore that one. Do that other one as well, just so you can see. Gone. Well, 90% gone. I'll get around and do that properly after I've done the video. Obviously, I didn't notice that before I started. Right, let's head inside. Start at the back. Manual child locks, electric windows, i40 branded kick plates, black and grey cloth mix throughout, three headrests along the back, center armrest if you're not using the middle seat, folds down, and I'll cack handedly with one hand do that. Show you the storage area and the cup holders. Massive, massive leg room. 12 volt point down there, heat events there, magazine nets in the back of the seats. Remember there is mats, they're just in the boot, those rubber ones we saw earlier. Uh, 
other side much the same but just to show you everything opens up and you can see it from all angles grey headlining all clean move to the front then electric windows there as well of course kick plates height adjustment for passenger seat airbag built into the side all nice and clean and tidy passenger airbag can be deactivated here a little button on this one isn't it there we are there is the aforementioned locking wheel nuts with all the spare bolts owner's manual is in there and there's a bit just up there to pipe the aircon through into the glove box if you wish to have a makeshift cool box little storage bits just down the side there as well right head around to the driver's side now where we'll finish off Right, electric windows all round, which can be locked from here. Electric mirrors, which also power fold. I'll just demo those for you. Right, so the driver side, you get electric seat. Which does all that. And there's a lumbar support there as well. Right, I'm going to hop in to show you the rest of it. Okay. Auto lights, auto stop starts, light adjustment and your fog lights here. Here's the mileage, 60,436, which is nice and low for an estate car of this age. Auto wipers, there's your indicators. Nice multi-function leather trim steering wheel. So you've got your cruise control bits over this side, air recirculation and audio. And then finally a phone bits down here, which I think I missed when I was doing the pictures. So hopefully you catch up with it on this video. And of course it's got an airbag built in too. Right, single slot CD, Bluetooth, sat nav that you can see here. It's a touchscreen one. And you've got these physical buttons here too. Radio, I can't have the volume up for the uh, copyright reasons, but you can see that's got DAB and it's all tuning in as it should. And if you go to the media, that allows you to use the various uh, Bluetooth streaming or physical inputs SD card for the maps is just under there climate control here that can be adjusted from either side got your door lock in your hazards there too this little one does that if I can action it properly auxiliary USB and your 12 volt points just tucked in there heated front seats three stage ones Driving mode, if you watch down the bottom there, the little sport bit lights up just underneath where the temperature is. So you can go into sport mode there. Six speed manual gearbox, cup holders, electronic parking brake with auto hold. You can turn your parking sensors off here too. Armrest, big deep one with loads of storage and a little tray. There isn't very hard to read airbag logo just there. Illuminated vanity mirrors, interior lighting, alarms, and your uh, microphone for the Bluetooth, etc. All your sensors up there for your auto lights and wipers. And finally, your auto dimming rear view mirror, just there. And that is everything I can spot on the car. So, no spec, very clean and tidy. Um, I will put on as many pictures as the auto trader allows of interior, exterior, and paperwork to go along with this walk around video. The idea is to give you the site, uh, give you the experience of coming to the site and visit can't get my words out today and viewing the car so if you like what you've seen here you can carry on that way leave us a small deposit we'll bring the car to you if you want to purchase in the traditional sense here we are main road car site border of fairham and gosport loads of stuff to look at if you're browsing you can pop down any time site is accessible 24 7. however if you want to get in the car start the engine have a proper look around please do phone ahead and make an appointment. That way we can make sure that one of us is here to accommodate you. We are a small two-man business, quite often just one of us here at a time. So if you phone ahead, we can guarantee that one of us will be here. Aside from that, we could well be out and about collecting cars and whatnot. So, right, that's everything I've got to say. So thank you very much for watching.